guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be my August book haul. It is August 30th as I am recording this video. I may have a few books coming later on today and tomorrow, but I'll probably just include those into my September book haul. I know you guys haven't seen me post a video in a while. I think it's been a week since I posted a video, and maybe two or three weeks since I recorded um due to numerous things one my wi-fi is still down probably won't be back up until september so i have to make the time to go to the library but it's been hard because i have my son and when i take him with me to the library i can't leave him in the children's section and the children's section doesn't have kind of like a wall outlet so it's kind of hard to charge my laptop if it dies um and second thing is because I've just been getting him prepared for school. He starts school next week, um, September 6th. That's a Thursday. So hopefully you guys will be seeing this the Tuesday before he goes to school. Um, but yeah, it's just been hectic trying to get him ready for school and stuff like that. But um, I'm back. I am here. Sorry about the lighting. I do have my window right here next to me. And then I have my two lights in front of me. So the lighting might be a little crazy throughout the video because the sun is like showing throughout the clouds and stuff so I apologize about that but on to this haul so I have a few things a lot of these obviously were sent to me for review and a lot of you guys always ask me how I get free books for review I have a book blog I have a Christian blog and then I also have my Goodreads account which is kind of like a book nerd kind of thing where you can put up reviews and stuff like that so I use those to be able to work with a lot of these companies to review their books and they send me these books free of charge I don't pay shipping I keep the books as long as I give an honest review and they're not paying me I don't have to give a five star to the book if I don't care for the book um, it's just they give you the book and in return all you do is review it and I normally can review it on Amazon but there's been something going on with Amazon and reviews lately so they kind of like blocked my account from doing reviews so I have to do a lot of my reviews now on christianbook.com or through Goodreads or on my blog but um, I'm gonna start off with the books that are like paid paid items basically I only have four of those here and then I'll do review books so the first item I'm gonna show you guys is from Our Daily Bread I don't need to talk about them. You guys know I love Our Daily Bread. They are my life. I love them. And I have this one. This is Colossians and Philemon kind of study. It's a 30-day kind of study. Yeah, 30-day study through both Colossians and Philemon. And it's by Mike Ryder. If you guys can see his name is here. And, um, yeah, it just goes through it. And I like the way it's set up because you basically get what you need to read. You get some content about the scriptures, the verses. You get space to take notes. And then you get this section here called Think About It. Um, or think through and I just think that's really great for when you want to do something on the go so I have that um, this I got free when I got my devotional I believe for the fall so that was a free one the next two items are from Joyce Meyer and I'm gonna say this probably in every video where I share Joyce Meyer products because I've had people message me on Instagram and through fate like literally have found me on Facebook to message me and tell me that I'm terrible for listening to Joyce Meyer and I'm going to repeat this again so if you don't like Joyce Meyer, that is okay. I am not pressuring you to like Joyce Meyer. I personally enjoy listening to her. I listen to a lot of preachers. I listen to T.D. Jakes. I listen to Joyce Meyer. I listen to Michael Todd. Um, there is a church out here in Jersey. They're called Liquid Church. I can't remember the pastor's name. But um, I listen to him. So I listen to a bunch of different pastors. I listen to Oswald Chambers. I listen to a bunch of people. Just because I listen to them don't mean anything. Um, I make sure that after listening to them and writing down my notes, I go back to the Word of God, to the actual Bible, to get what God wants me to get out of it. And if it does not align with it, then I trash it. But if it aligns with it, what's the problem? Just saying that because a lot of people seem to have a problem that I like Joyce Meyer. I know before I, um, I had a conversation with a few ladies, and it wasn't anything negative. We just had a conversation about Joyce Meyer, and that was cool. But to the people who are like literally taking their time to direct message me on Instagram and Facebook, and tweet me um, about it that's ridiculous so from now on if you do have a comment about it that's negative I will delete it um, just because I don't want to start trouble in my um, comment section there has been times before when people have come at me about different things um, and I would have to delete it because I don't want this channel to be a negative channel this is a Christian based channel I want it to be friendly I want it to be a safe haven for other women and men who watch me as well so if you have a problem with it you can write that down in the comment section, but write it in the way that's not um, 
rude or derogatory or whatever the case may be because a lot of people have been making rude comments about it but i have two items from her one is the audio cd and then i have the life application journal that goes with it these i got um for free i think i think they were free if i'm not mistaken or paid a small donation movie, I can't remember. But um, the links will be down below to birth both her monthly resources that she sends out for a donational fee, as well as her store where she has like certain products on donational fee every month. So this is called Letting Go and Living Free, How to Embrace the New Beginning God Has for You. Again, you guys know I rave about her packaging. Her packaging is amazing. This is $26. It's four teachings on CD. And the length is 3 hours and 28 minutes. $26. I didn't pay that. But, um, again, four CDs. I love the coloring on them. But it's getting your mind off the road behind you. Pressing in to a new beginning. Steps to total restoration and taking back what belongs to you. And to go with that, I have this Letting Go and Living Free Life Application Journal. There are 10 different steps, I guess you could say. Um, and each step, you get something to read, you write down a scripture, and then you have space for your notes. So I kind of like that, and each step has like words on the side. So like it says, identity here, let God... I mean, what else does it say? There's, there's a bunch of things in here, I'm not going to go through it. Take a step. And I think the last one is Persevere. So there are 10 different steps you do. Um, and yeah, it, it seems like a cool thing. So I got that. The last item that I paid for donation fee, one of the ladies in my group actually posted about this. And I went on there immediately and snagged this up for my son. Um, if you guys don't know, my sis Angela over at Transform Through God's Word here on YouTube as well as on Facebook. Um, she created the sister group to Daughter of Increase. And she's going through the Bible chronologically, so she's doing a chronological study, and I'm still stuck on Genesis. There are some people who, like, are deep into Genesis, moving on to Exodus or Leviticus. I'm still in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Yeah, I've been slacking a lot with everything, and I'll do a video on that soon of why. But, um, yeah, so this was one of the books that was shared in the group, and it's from K Author. It's one of her inductive Bible studies, but this one is for children, um, ages 4 through 7, which I thought was cool because my son loves writing with me. He likes reading books. My son is very much, um, a, a nerd, basically, like his mother and father. Both my fiancé and I like to read, we like to write. So my son is definitely much into that, and when I take my Bible out or I do Bible studies with my siblings, he's quick to want to get his Bible and sit with us. So I figured this would be something great. So this is it. This is on Genesis chapter 1. It's who created it. And it's an inductive Bible study. So she literally goes through the different ways that she marks the Bibles. Um, with like her circles and using the colors and the ovals. And there are like things for your children to write. Trace here. She tells you how to do like the rectangles and stuff. So she really shows the children how to do an inductive Bible study. Now I like inductive Bible studies, but I feel like it's just too many symbols for my mind to keep in track of to keep track of and then to print out the symbols, I would get caught up in the symbols rather than reading, which is why I don't do the inductive Bible study. I'm gonna try to find like a simplified way to do it because I like it. It's just a lot of things that go into it. But um yeah I got this for my son and I think it's gonna be so cool for him to like do with me. So he can also write. And again, this is for kids ages 4 through 7. My son is 4. He is going into kindergarten. He'll be 5 next year in February. So I figured this would be a good time for me and him next year to really dive into studying the Word of God together a little bit more. So now moving on to all the books. All the books that I got for review. And I get all these books for free. I don't pay anything. I don't know if I mentioned this already. But, um, my nose is, like, really itchy. But I get all these books for, books for free. I don't pay shipping. I don't pay for any of these books. The only requirement that is required of me is to review the book, whether it's on my blog, on Amazon, or ChristianBook.com, or Goodreads, um, or Barnes & Nobles. I used to do a lot of my reviews on Goodreads, Amazon, and my blog. Amazon recently went through, like, a... A profile purge where like if you were getting products from a company for free um, and I guess you didn't specify that or even if you did specify it they were basically deleting all of your reviews they took down all of my reviews they are not reinstating me to review anything on Amazon which sucks because I was doing a lot of reviews and a lot of the things were just personal reviews from like books that I read so like they deleted a lot of my stuff and when I emailed them they told me that they just would not be reinstating me which is crazy 
so I now have to do my reviews on Goodreads and if you don't know what Goodreads is it's kind of like Facebook for book nerds um you basically have like a bunch of different books you can share what you're currently reading share what you didn't like um you can do different shelves for like library reads mangas and stuff like that so I use that um to post reviews and then I have my blog and then I've recently just been posting a lot of my reviews on um, christianbook.com instead because Amazon just has been bugging out but this first book here is from Tony Evans is Kingdom Citizen your role in rebuilding a broken nation I got this from Tyndall blogger network um, so yeah this is the book I think it's already out I'm not sure if this book is out yet I can't remember if it is, I'll put it on the screen if it is. But Tony Evans is the father of Priscilla Shire. And if you guys don't know who she is, you should know. But um, Priscilla Shire is the lady that wrote Fervent. She is also the woman who played Elizabeth in War Room. So that is his daughter. And his son is Anthony Evans. And if you guys don't know who Anthony Evans is, I mean, he's a Christian singer. Like, if you don't know, Google him. Google him, YouTube him. He's awesome. I love his voice. But um, this is their father. And I decided to grab this and read it. The next book I have is from Waterbrook Multnomah. So basically, I used to work with them a lot through blogging for books, but they shut down blogging for books, and now they do um, their launch team. So I've been receiving a lot of their books from their launch teams um, quite a lot. <laughs> like, I have a lot of their books, you guys, on my shelf. I'm looking at my shelf now because it's behind me. I mean, behind the camera. But um, I have a lot of books from them. I can show you maybe two books here. Well, one. So this one here is called Gospel-Centered Mom. I still have yet to read this book. Um, but yeah, Gospel-Centered Mom is one of the books that I have from them. And it's from Book McLaughlin. Glosslin. But um, I got that when they had blogging for books. They don't anymore, so now they have a launch team. And I signed up for that and was approved. So they've been sending me books quite often. And this one is called The Brave Art of Motherhood, Fight Fear, Gain Confidence, and Find Yourself Again by Rachel Marie Martin. This is an uncorrected proof, so it's not a finished copy. It doesn't come out until October 9th, 2018. So, yes, I still have the paper and everything in here because I haven't read through it um, yet, but I'm excited to dive into this. It's just about being a mom, pretty much. T tomorrow doesn't have to be like yesterday if you decide to change today. So I guess it's just about the daily um, craziness of being a mom because being a mom is not easy. Um, it's just not. And I don't care what anyone says. It's not. Especially me as a stay-at-home mom and I don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. I prefer to be working. Um, but it's just not going the way that I plan. And I find that I get stressed out and overwhelmed quite a lot. So um, yeah, I knew that I wanted to check out this book. So I have a brief. The next two books are from Moody Publisher. You guys know about Moody Publisher. I found them. I found out about them because I googled how to uh, get and review free books. I literally Google a lot of the things that I have like questions for, and I find them. So I found them through googling because another young lady um, had a blog post of different programs that allowed you to review books. So um, these are kind of like the same two books. They're both devotionals from A. W. Tozer, compiled by Gerald B. Smith. But one is kind of like the morning and one is the evening. So this one is Mornings with A.W. Tozer. Oh, well, Mornings with Tozer. This one is like a sunburst orange. Kind of matches like my shirt with a rooster on it. And it's really nice. I like this one. It comes kind of like on a daily thing. So it's a yearly thing. You get your title, your scripture, your devotional, and then a mini prayer at the bottom. It's really cute. And each month has like its own section. So I have Mornings with Tozer, and then I have Evenings with Tozer, and it's the same kind of setup. Um, this one is just like a blue with um, kind of like a tealish blue with an owl on it. Um, same kind of ordeal where every month you get your own thing, but it has an owl instead. Um, the only difference is that this doesn't come with a prayer, so you get your topic, your scripture, your devotional, and that's pretty much it. And I wish it did come with a prayer more so for the evening, just because I like using prayer prompts. Um, so I kind of like to use other prayers to prompt me into praying. But, um, yeah, so this one, they're both $16.99. I'll have links down below, but I got those through Moody. The next, uh, three, yes, the next three I got from Thomas Nelson and Zondervan through their Book Look Bloggers, uh, kind of book blogger review program. And I have three. So I have 100 Days of Thanks, which is this cute little kind of like gratitude journal. It's so cute. First of all, 
lavender. I'm, I'm obsessed with the color lavender and lavender flowers in general and lavender scent. But what I like about this is that you get a topic of scripture, kind of like a short Devo, and then space to really just answer a question. So it says, Mercy is new every morning. Thank God for a fresh start. And you get a corresponding picture. And I just think the pictures throughout are just so well done and so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So I have that. The next one is The Call by Os Guinness. I think that's how you say it, Os Guinness. And it's finding and fulfilling God's purpose for your life. This is the revised and expanded 20th anniversary edition. This came out, I believe, in the 1900s. I'm saying 1900s like it's really, really old. But this is like a really old book. Um, I just got a whole lot of like lotion grease things on this book, but it's okay. But I fell in love with the cover. I just, I love the kind of like fall autumn leaves with this like block of black with this I don't, I don't know. I just fell in love with it. It's really pretty. Um, all that I know, it says, why are we here? What is God's calling in your lives? How should God's calling affect our careers, our plans for the future, and our concepts of success? So it's all about really just fulfilling the purpose that God has for you. The last one I have from them, um, this is actually a companion. It goes with two other books, which I do have coming. But this is from Max Licato. It's adapted by Tama Fortner, and it's illustrated by Alicia Tron, Tron, Tronf Tronfio? I don't know. It's called God Always Keeps His Promises, Unshakable Hope for Kids. So it's based off of Unshakable Hope that Max Licata wrote, and um, it's just a kid's kind of book. And the artwork in this is so pretty. Pr pretty. Pr you guys hear what I'm saying? So pretty. Like, I like the artwork in it. And what I like is that they picked certain stories from certain things. So like chapter 10 is like God's promise for you. So she took something from 1 Samuel, verse, um, chapter 16 and 17. So it's, it's pretty much like a storybook. And I got it for my son. It's just so pretty. And I would keep it for myself. Okay, the next <coughs> couple are from BH Bloggers. In Lifeway. So the first item I actually won, <laughs> which they do, I'm a part of their Facebook group um, as well as their blog program. So the Facebook group for those who are a part of the blog program. And they do like giveaways every now and then. The last giveaway, I think they gave away a uh, Rainbow Bible. I didn't win that, which sucked. But this giveaway they had for this kind of like Luke commentary. And it wasn't known whoever won. So it was kind of like a random like surprise giveaway and I got one which was like so cool so this is a New Testament commentary Christian I'm sorry Christ centered exposition exalting Jesus in Luke it's by I can't pronounce I'm not even gonna attempt to butcher it so here's the name up here but here it is I am so excited I did enjoy Luke Luke is probably one of probably my second favorite it, it's in my top five I mean my top ten favorite books of the Bible so um, it literally goes through each book of um, chapter of Luke verse by verse and it gives you like questions to reflect on and conclusions. So I'm definitely planning on reviewing, reviewing, restudying Luke and using this with that. This is called Seeing How Worship Transform Your Life, Family, and Church by Keith and Kristen Getty. It says, We all share in the unique privilege and responsibility. Of singing, singing together as the church reforms our lives, our families, our churches, and our witness. So yeah, it's just about how they use music to transform the word. I get, I mean, transform the lives of people. So yeah, it's a short little cute book. I love the gold foil on it. This is from Trevin Wax. It is called "This Is Our Time: Everyday Myths in Light of the Gospel," and I think the cover was so cool. With the like the apple that's kind of like glitched out it says uncertain confused and overwhelmed many christians feel bombarded by the messages they hear and the trends they see in our rapidly changing world and this is our time traveling wax provides snapchat snapshots of 21st century american life in order to help christians understand the times by analyzing our common beliefs and practices smartphone habits entertainment intake and our views of shopping sex marriage politics and life purposes Trevin helps us see through the myths of society to the hope of the gospel. So, yeah, I do have another book with him in it. Um, I can't even see where it is right now. But, yeah, it's an 
eschatology es I don't even know how to pronounce the word but he's in that book so yeah I have that and then the last one I have from them is actually a coloring devotional which is so freaking awesome I'm so excited about this it's called big and little coloring devotional and it's literally just a coloring book devotional like so you have so a devotional inside and then you can color the pictures around and I just think that's so cool and then like you have these little art pictures that I feel like you can color and then stick inside of a frame so I think that's so cool I think all the devotionals are like on this side and then the next side is like something you can let your children color or you just color for fun so I can't wait to dive into using that and the last set of books here are all from, uh, what's the company? Baker Publishing Group. I have one from Rebel, I think. No. I have two books from Rebel, which is a branch of Baker House Publishing. And then I have the rest that are from Baker Books, which is a division of Baker Publishing Group. And Baker Publishing Group has a bunch. They have Bethany, they have Rebel, they have Choice, they have, uh chosen i'm sorry it's not choice it's called chosen so they have bakers rebel bethany chosen i think those are the four branches um i feel like there's another branch but i don't can't think of it right now so these two are from rebel rebel and um this one is called crack yourself up jokes for kids by sandy silverthorne and it's just a book of jokes that you can share with your kids so I'm trying to see if i can find okay so this one here on this page, um, it's on page 55, it says, is this letter for you, the name's all blurry. So the person says, no, my name is Anderson. And, um, you know, it's kind of cute, corny jokes that I think would be cute just to have. I don't know. The next one is also from Rebel. It's by Kay Willis Weimer. Kay Willis Weimer. And it is not the boss of us, putting overwhelmed in its place in a do-all, be-all world. And here's what it looks like super gorgeous cover I just love the little blocks of like splashes of color then like I said everything else is from Baker books and this first one I got because I'm a book nerd I love books I can read almost two three hundred books a year I know insane this past week I did a readathon um, with bout of books and I read a total of 16 books um, throughout the week so in seven days I read 16 books and I finished out of those 16 15 books completed so yes insane I know but this one says I'd rather be reading the delights and dilemmas of the reading life by Anne Bogle creator of modern Mrs. Darcy and I'm a book nerd I mean what what more is there to say it's first of all the bookshelves the little chair just cute I love the gold foiling on it on the spine as well it's just it's gorgeous there, there's all that I can say about it. It's just, I'm a book nerd. And the next three obviously have to do with God. So we have Choosing the Extraordinary Life by Dr. Robert Jeffries. God's Seven Secrets for Success and Significance. No lie, you guys, this cover is gorgeous. It's like a really kind of like pearly sheen to it. I don't know if you're going to pick it up. With that blue foil. Oh god, it's just so pretty. I don't know anything about this book. I'm not going to say that I do because when I normally request these books, I read the synopsis, look at the cover, look at the title, look at the tagline, and figure out if I want the book. Um, so, yeah. Anything that has to do with living the abundant, extraordinary life that God has for me, I like to read those books. Um, this one is from Dr. Carlene Leaf. She is the author of Switch on Your Brain. It's Think, Learn, Succeed. Understanding and using your mind to thrive at school, the workplace, and life. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with God, actually. Nope. I don't think this has anything to do with God. This was just a book that I requested from them. Um, and it sounded awesome, so I got it. There's no other reason why I got it. It, just, it sounded awesome, so I got it. And then the last one we have here, which... I'm obsessed with the cover. I'm obsessed with the fact that it's a hard cover, but it's super soft. It's called Imagine Heaven Devotional. It's 100 Reflections to Bring Heaven to Your Life Today by John Burke and Kathy Burke. I'm not sure if they're like a husband-wife duo or not, but um, yes, it's a husband-wife duo. And here's the cover. And you guys, it is a hard cover, 
But the hardcover is very plush and like squishy and really soft. And um, it's so nice. And here's what it looks like. So you get your scripture here, your devotional content here, more content, and a prayer. I'm not sure how they have it set up because it looks interesting. Yeah, so you get your scripture, your observation, um, your devotional content, and a prayer. And it's just a hundred devotions, so it's not like a daily kind of thing, but you can make it daily or weekly or whatever the case may be. But um, that is pretty much it for all the books that I have right now that I can think of. I may have more books coming later, and if I do, like I said, I'll throw that into my September. But these are all of the books that I have for the month of August, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!